Um, we did our annual egg drop for our second grade forces in motion unit. Yeah, drop we eggs. Drop eggs. And try not make it right. Uh -huh. They learned about um, inertia, they learned about forces, mo motion, push, pull, so they um, constructed paper airplanes and we tested to see which design went the furthest. They, they did a marble roll and then the final project was their egg drop where they crafted and they had a, um, a grocery store that they went to and they had a certain amount of money and they had to buy all their products to go with their design and then today we tested their drop. Uh, yeah. You make a box and never mind. You make a box, <laughs> you make a box and then you decorate it. And, and then, then you decorate your egg because you, you make a then, 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 then when Mr. Shower drops it, it breaks. Right. What we're trying to do with our EL students is build vocabulary. And so what we need to do is engage them in the experiments and reinforce the curriculum for science that we have in the classroom. And it's fun and engaging experiential learning like this that really engages our kids. Almost everybody survived the egg drop. Yes. Yes. Almost. Almost. Eggs. We, we made the life and I'm all the eggs broke. Um, some people survived it, some people are not. We did it, but it was very fun. So the hands-on experiential learning works really well for them. They love it every single year, and we're glad with the turnout, all the classes that came out.